What's up guys, it's me Caitlin from CCO Tech and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have another iPhone themed video and today, things you should do as soon as you get your first iPhone or an iPhone. I think it really helps optimize the phone and can give you a better experience when using it. But before we get started with the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So this is something that they allow you to do in the initial setup of your phone, like before you even get to your home screen. But I recommend you put your phone in dark mode. That allows your messages, your Google to be at a darker setting so it's not as hard on your eyes and it doesn't strain them. A lot of blue light gets emitted from your phone. So having most settings be darker, I think that really helps just keep your eyes from being so strained and pained even. Now this is kind of a personal preference thing, but if you do notice with every iPhone, when you get it out of the box and you go to your selfie camera, when you take the picture, it flips it after it's taken. So if you're not one, if you're a person who does not like this at all, which I'm one of those people. So if you go into settings and then you go to camera, under the composition section, there's an option to mirror your front camera. So what that does essentially is after you take the picture, it stays the same because it's just mirroring what the front camera saw before you even hit the shutter. Now, another thing that I would want to recommend, this is, definitely for a specific age group but if you're more like a teen or a younger person who would want to play iMessage games there's an app called Game Pigeon which is in the App Store it's an iPhone thing only so if this is your first iPhone well welcome you get to enjoy these fun games especially if you're bored in class but they have various games like baseball, pool basketball word games cup pong all these little mini games that you can play against other people you know, they have multiplayer one called Crazy Eights. It's very similar to Uno, but, you know, copyright things. But I think it's really fun, and I've played it a lot. This is another one of those personal preference things, but I don't know. Coming from an Android user, I'm very fond of the Google Apps. So things like Safari and the calendar and Maps, you know, they don't catch my attention. I'm so used to using the Google version where I kind of just want to make that my default. So the great thing with Apple is that they allow you to do that. You can go to your settings, change your default web browser to Google Chrome, change your default calendar to Google Calendar, maybe your maps to Google Maps, but you always get that choice because, you know, it is an iPhone, but Google is still supported on them. So I did replace those apps with the Google versions. And lastly, I think this is the most important thing. Customize your phone make it your own because i think iphone does a really great job of giving you that option now with the introduction of ios 14 you can now make widgets you can add shortcuts change things on your phone that you wouldn't have been able to do with previous iphones and there's a lot of beauty in that you can look at someone's iphone and be like wow that really fits their personality and a lot of my friends you know every single one of their iPhones looks so different from mine. Like some people, they have everything just be one theme. I think mine is a little more, it's still kind of on the basic side. It doesn't just the whole one theme takes over the whole phone. But I did decide to change the covers of some of the apps like Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, some of my social medias because I have sections for each color. I kind of wanted to color code it, but not just put each color in a folder, but just have a page for each different colors. So I like the introduction of the app library, just all that stuff because it helps you organize your phone a little differently than what you could do before. And I think that's the most fun part about it. It is a little time consuming, but if you're willing to dedicate your time to do that, then you can get a lot out of it. Another thing that I recommend you do is turn off True Tone because I find that in some cases it can be a little annoying because what it does is it changes your phone's brightness based off of the conditions you're in. But I personally like to do that thing kind of manually through the control center. So I turned off True Tone just so that I could have full control over whatever brightness my phone is. And then obviously, facial recognition face id is a big thing with iphones the cool thing is it works with masks sunglasses and a bunch of different things so it's very the technology in it is still very effective and efficient 
So if you haven't done so already, I mean, that's a part of the initial setup as well. But along with dark mode, you might not have, you might have skipped over it. You might have just waited to do it later. You can set up Face ID right now. Set it up for an easy way to unlock your phone instead of having to type in your pin every time. And so this is kind of for me just because I use like abbreviations or a little more slang in the way I text. So I did turn off autocorrect just so that it's not constantly changing the words that I'm trying to type. Cause like most of the time I know what I'm trying to type, but it still changes it to something else because you know, it might not be a real word or it might be slang or an abbreviation that it just doesn't pick up on. So I turned off autocorrect and I also turned off auto capitalization just because, but I like the aesthetic of just all lowercase letters. I don't know what it is. A lot of people did it. I kind of hopped on the trend and I never got out of it. So that's just my thing. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.